Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. We are continuing our little mini series on Steam Game Festival demos. Here today we are with Supa Birdie Boy. It is a, as you can see, a kind of Game Boy-esque platformer. I've seen a lot about this game on Twitter and really curious about it and it looks very interesting so let's get in here and try it out right now it, this is a demo there is no controller support I would like to see a controller function added at some point but because this is a demo that's okay I'm not sure if it's planned that there is going to be controller support but I would really like to see that so Let's get in here. We got Grasslands level one. I gotta say, there is something about the Game Boy aesthetic. I had a Game Boy when it first come out. It wasn't so much in my childhood, but I there's something about the aesthetics that really grabbed me and I really like it. I don't know, I don't consciously feel a lot of nostalgia to it because I know there are games that I, feel a lot of nostalgia to but it just there doesn't seem to be a lot in, for the game boy because i not only didn't have it for very long i didn't have very many games for it welcome seems like you picked an interest in a legendary bread not sure what you want to do with that but that makes me pick an interest in you for now just follow the crumbs harry okay so I guess we are following the crumbs. We got a space to a uh, jump. So yeah, I owned a Game Boy. I I had a few games for it, but I really wasn't. It wasn't formative in my childhood. So I'm not sure why I feel such a strong feeling towards this Game Boy aesthetic here. Anyway, I'm Harry, the leader of the Minigeese Gang. I'll be teaching you some basic stuff so you can get accustomed to the environment and the movement. Well, that's cool. Let's pick up our little breadcrumbs, I guess. I like what we've got so far. So we got that little dust around him when he moves and jumps, which is really cool. One of those little things that I like. And also within that, the little things in the ground, such as that shell, over there and the troglodyte just left of me is pretty cool i like it it's very interesting what they've got that is a really large boat over there lesson one these question sign posts should be informative for you so be sure to check them out okay well i will try to remember to pick those and check those out so we don't have a double jump i'm i'm very interested in this game and it looks pretty good better get used to jumping you'll need that a lot especially given your pacifist nature you are not a fighter here interesting so this is going to be a game where i avoid combat that's quite not not a bad thing it's just something i wasn't quite expecting here the harder you jump the higher farther you can fly even wingless so we do we got a yeah we seems like we got a little bit and and then a a little jump and then if you hold it down, you get to jump a little bit further. Can I get those two? I kind of want those two right there. Get all the breadcrumbs. I'm going to be obsessed with the breadcrumbs now. Bread is not just a hollow snack. Breads are your goals. And each time you reach one, you can visit the next path lying before you. Class dismissed, Harry. Well, thank you very much. It looks like we pick up the breadcrumbs. We eggs found oh so there's some surprise collectibles i guess in there as well and yeah time okay cool i didn't realize that there was a time there there may not be a time on that one because it was an introductory but yeah okay we got 120 seconds for lack of a better word to do this so let's get going you cannot jump this high you'll have to go further, you have to step back and take a higher ground. Okay. We don't want to waste a lot of time reading all the signs, but it's if I could just, yeah, I think some of them will just maybe skip if I think that it's going to be something that, oh, there's an exclamation. This is where the hike starts, so buckle up. Okay, well, let's grab these down here really quick. 
I'm liking this. I like the concept of it. I like the following the breadcrumbs. I like the idea of the pacifist. It, I'm very impressed. I think this is what really gets me for the Game Boy aesthetic. I teach you mainly to see how far you are going to get before you decide to drop this quest. Sheer curiosity, you know, and maybe a couple of bets to win. So I'm always impressed with what people can do with less. And I like the like the two bit where it's just black and white. And I also, I guess one bit maybe an on and off. And maybe that's why I like the Game Boy aesthetic so much is because it's taking all your colors, everything, and rounding it down to shades of green. And you really have to be creative in designing your levels, designing your character, and, and, and everything like that. If you want to have a well-designed thing so that you can... Wait, hold on. The safe zone ends with this red. Please tread carefully. Okay. I found an egg over there. I wonder if I can get way up i doubt it i'm oh i've only got eight seconds i better get going let's get the bread Ooh, i wasn't paying attention to the time we've got to watch that time there we did find one egg which is cool yay we got 500 so maybe there's only one egg and yes if you get it you get an extra point well that's cool it's all what you can do with less and i think that's kind of the crux of the matter here okay some grass here can't be mowed down interesting enough to i'm not sure what that means and some of these rocks are in the foreground as well i'm not going to stop and yeah i think these are supposed to be spikes and to show yep yeah. ah shoot let's restart okay that was right there so yeah, some of these rocks are in the foreground, which is a little nice touch. I don't want to stop because we do have a time limit, but let's see if we can get over that. I was trying to land, and as a, I do love platformers. Platformers are probably one of my favorite genres, but on the other side of that, I really don't like it when platformers make you jump on like one little level so that you only got this little itty bit to land on and i have always found that a little annoying let's get going okay we've got to keep moving here i also like that the spikes kind of glisten sometimes i did not find the egg there though i don't think i can get up there i feel that the egg is up there somehow I only have 60 some seconds let's oh shoot well let's i guess we have a little bit more time to find it now okay that is a wall that we can't get over let's see if there's nothing really else any other place i don't think that i can go to so i'm ah, okay we could do this we start off really good and i should have just finished it this is gonna this is gonna bother me having to get the yeah here we go got that get that egg is gonna like now bother me because i'm gonna always be looking for that egg now and i'm not gonna just take my you know do it and watch where i am and do the like like that watch where i am and take the level i'm going to be looking around for secret places that i can find an egg let's just get through this one see if we can there's those spikes there i didn't see last time i went through this really well i think when i did it a little bit i didn't even realize those, those spikes were there at first yeah i'm not sure where that egg is supposed to be but I'm not sure where I could be either. Sometimes I'm like, it could be here. Wow, that was close. Uh, it could be here or it could be there, but I, I can't make it or something like that. But I really can't find in this level where the egg could be. Let's see if we can just get up here and get this level done. 
Come on, we could do this. I did it so easily the first time. We just hopped right across these with no troubles. There you go. Woo! We got a level complete. We wasted a lot of time there, but we got it. We did not get the egg though. Um, we got a new record. Well, that's cool. You still haven't given up? No, I'll never give up. Ox fever, okay. So I'm a pacifist. I'm gonna assume that everything kills me. We're just gonna jump over the fox and let him go. I'm gonna assume I, I am a bird, so I guess it makes sense that the fox would kill me. I am a super birdie boy. Oh my god, we got uh I was gonna say we gotta gotta go under there. There's no we're not going on the top. Way too many spikes up there. Okay, got be careful. I bet you the egg is up here somewhere. And it might even be, oh gosh, under there, like, ah, I messed, missed the jump. Okay, we can do this. Just need to take it slowly and make these jumps count. I like the whole idea of the bird and the breadcrumbs too. I mean, birds do really like breadcrumbs. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, run back. I like the little foxes. That's cool. It's just like what I was saying that really what can you do with So many collars, I mean obviously when you get Add collars you could do a lot more stuff Typically than you normally can I wanted to read that these eggs were stolen from the other fowl by Mingus game They're normally well hidden or well guarded try to achieve as many as possible I'm not sure how I'm going to, I'm going to have to come drop in after him, I believe. Let's see if we could do this really quickly. Oh, that was close. So we're going to grab that and try to run. Am I faster than him? I'm going to oh, I'm gonna try to jump right afterwards. I would like to see as many levels as we can through this playthrough. So I'm not, if I see the egg, I might just point it out and not pick it up because I do want to see as much as I can in the game we're getting a little bit better here it's almost like a speed run well a lot of platformers have a timer and a lot of early platformers definitely had timers more cunning than a fox if you got here then probably but the step only starts here but the steep but the steep but the steep only starts here interesting okay we got a level complete no egg yeah i had time to do it okay we're heading out the other way and oh we got bees now so we got to be careful with the bees the bees okay the bees go over my well at least that bee does we're gonna try to see where oh i should have went up there i'm gonna say can he go over my head there i don't know where the beginning or where the bread is so i gotta choose a path and ho holy crap there's a lot of bees there so we're gonna have to go oh wow i don't know how are we gonna make it through this this is gonna be tough i hope the eggs this way because if not, I'm in trouble. Oh, there the egg is. Sweet, but I have to get back too, which is not going to be fun. And the time amount. We got the egg. I really did. Oh, can we go? Oh, there we go. Sweet. That's cool. Okay, we didn't get very many crumbs, but we got the egg. <laughs> the crumbs would have been better to get, to get my, you know, the point up more. Crunchy noises. Okay. I like this. Goosebumps. I gotta say, I saw a little preview with geese in the game. Geese are mean. I'll tell you right now, geese are like the meanest animal ever. They hiss, they honk at you. I mean, they're just like uh I've I've had I have ran it I've run in with geese before, and it was just it's not they're not nice animals i guess which throws you off because they kind of look like i mean they're a nice pretty bird i guess you could say and you know they oh gosh i thought i could make that oh shoot uh 
Okay. Start moving, you it'll automatically take it off. Okay. So I need to get over that goose, but I kind of wanted to get up there, but eh. Yeah, geese are, are nasty animals. Yeah, they don't seem very scary or very mean, but they are quite. Oh gosh, I need it. <laughs> this is getting a little. I like this game. It's fun, but it's also getting a, a little bit frustrating just because I want to get through it. And typically, I typically, I don't particularly care for games that have like one hit deaths. I'm not a big fan of that, but I think so far considering this game, it works for this game. So I'm, yeah, I think it works well with this game. A lot of times I don't feel that it would work or be good mechanic to do that. I walked right into that goose. But I think kind of the overall premise of this game, at least what I can see so far, the one hit does work better. His head gets like increasingly like very much bigger and you really have got to watch how you jump over him or how close you get to him because that, that unexpected like size differential as he snaps at you, I guess. You can't get very close to him. These geese are, are like the gonna be the bane of my existence right here. Come on, we can do it. Oh, I almost hit that spike there. I think that would have killed me. Okay, the jump. That shows you the arc. If you can see, they set it up nicely so that you can see kind of where you need to jump. That first goose had a... Uh, breadcrumbs all around his head kind of showing you the arc that you needed to take and then the second one only had it on the back end so it's kind of like showing you a little bit here and then it's stepping up the difficulty with each, each encounter and I like that and then here they're vertical so you kind of lose that completely and then up against the wall I mean there's it's really impressive what he's done here with the geese and how you're gonna to have to react to them there's the bread oh what does it say this is all she wrote let's see i get up there Woo yeah that's all i had to do is make that little jump and i knew it like this last jump here okay quickened chicken okay so we still got the geese i'm not reading these signs because they take too much time Got a fast little chicken. I'm not sure how that's going to supposed to hurt my... I mean, I am a bird, so I guess... Uh, I, I wouldn't think a chicken would be able to hurt me, but okay. Can I get that? I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about it. Too many geese up there. Oh, see here again, they're stepping up the difficulty. The, you have a nice, easy goose to jump over. And then now that one is... It goes from real low very quickly to one that is actually one level above you so it's very cool how they designed the level here in the way such that it's setting you up to kind of take little steps and get better and better oh that's close Woo. okay we can do this jump I got all we need to do is oh I don't want to go down there I don't want to go up to the geese either though oh that's a lot of chickens I don't know if I can oh you got to be right behind those people too Woo -wee, this is gonna be fun let's see if I can get I'm not faster than them oh that is so close I am not getting that egg here oh see again one more step up you got that one on i really like the level design here with the speed of the chickens again it's one chicken open area here you can do a lot of jumps over not a big deal very easy 
Now you go to where there's chicken. Uh, you've got a little bit of difficulty because you have these two upper parts here and you have to worry about that. So you got a little bit less room to jump over the chicken there, which is cool. And then you step up the geese here, just one level at a time, which nicely sets you up for that jump right there. I was trying to go through the level design here. Very, I, I'm very impressed with the level design here. For such a simple game and a mechanic, the level design is very smart. All right, we could do this. I got over that goose once, I could get over him again. It's really, uh, it's just tough. That arc is, it's really traps you between these two geese here. Woo. Okay, now you have an open area with two chickens. So you've gotta now have to worry about two chickens. And now you have a funnel here of the chickens running. It really steps up the game here. Now you have a chicken on these little platforms limit your ability to jump over them and yeah very well done here in this and then a goose i hate these geese already i don't know if the intention was to make me hate the geese but i hate the geese so it looks like with that we're gonna have to do a jump over them just the arc of those breadcrumbs made me think that i needed to jump over them and i was right let's grab the bread and continue on i gotta say this is a very well done game even in its simplicity very good very tricky it is difficult but not too difficult so far oh i am the level design i will talk about the level design forever oh okay we got that and the the boards are almost like you want to read them, but it's almost counterintuitive to read the signs because that takes time and you don't have time to sit there and read all the boards. Peas. So now they're just putting all the elements together, the bees, the chickens, and everything, kind of setting it up to be a little bit more difficult. Oh, bees, chickens, oh gosh. Woohoohoo! I hope the uh, bread is here. Oh, is the bee faster than me? There is two bees there, and I didn't notice that. Ah, shoot. Okay, so you're gonna have to run, jump, and hope that that one, ch that one chicken comes back sooner than what you expect. Okay. I can do this. Okay, and then here, just a one chicken. You got one chicken, one bee. Then you got a low bee that you have to jump over. Wonder what's down here. I wonder if the, oh, this is back through. Oh, this is the beginning. Oh no, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Okay, so don't fall down there again. Got it. I was like, what is down here? It's the beginning. Okay. Didn't want to do that. That's all right. We could do this. All oh, the brick drums. I thought it jumped way too soon there for a second. Got to manage these bees here. And then again, it just progressively adds one thing to make it a little bit more difficult. And that is really clever design here. Let's wait for the other bee. And what we're going to have to do is chase this bee and probably jump there we go there's the bread but there's a goose over here let's see if i can really quickly maybe get over these uh, oh no i was so close i bet the egg is that way that's the way i would have to say that the egg is gonna be let's see if we can beat the level now because that has to be where the egg is because we saw where the bread was. I wonder if it's just different levels or there's, I mean, there really can't be a boss battle in the game because you're kind of a pacifist. You're not attacking anything. You're avoiding everything. So I'm kind of curious how they're doing that angle. 
or if you just continually add more enemies until it's like really difficult and more better level design i'm just trying to think of how you could amp this up to continue through multiple areas i wonder if that level is a the level what is the word the the record there is that record a a record overall or a record for that level that would be an interesting thing these snails are actually very interesting things are so fast typically but now you have this snail that actually slows you down so i can't go through parts of this it's actually going to slow you down and make you take more time for this area and that's kind of cool that's an interesting new technique i guess to explore with the game is now we have to slow down and you're racing the clock and it's it's a very interesting dynamic here trying to avoid the snail slow snail but also go as fast as you can so we're gonna have to get watch out for this chicken shoot i can only jump over it in certain spots so we're gonna have to stay here for this jump over him again oh he's gonna have to come up there we go i can stand here trying to think of where else i could stand probably on the sign and then i'm gonna have to jump and get there we go wow this is kind of okay we got the bread but there is an egg up there and i'm wondering if how am i gonna get that can i jump i can't make that jump can i no okay i'm gonna let it go and at least we know that they're where the egg is i think that well that's i don't know how many levels here let's run out to the main menu and see if we can kind of see an overview of the levels to see if there's some kind of overworld or something that we can see we've done okay we've done we're in the grasslands we've done nine so we're on 10 so there is 15 in this first level we found two of the 15 eggs that's not very good but so there's going to be i'm going to see after 15 then they're going to go in and do a whole nother i guess a whole nother area of the grasslands may be only what's in the demo but i'm assuming for the full game that you've got this area called grasslands and then maybe another area with another theme to it that's going to continue the game on i very like super super birdie boy i know the game i'm playing really i really do like super birdie boy and i really recommend it if you like platformers it's kind of a fun interesting concept i love the game boy aesthetic definitely worth a look thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and i will see you all next time bye everybody